Good day my little robins, it's me Beth, another week has passed which means you get another video from well, me here on this channel if you haven't already read the title. A couple of weeks ago, or probably like two, three weeks at this point of upload, I reacted to a Japanese band called Fate Gear and the music video for the song Scars In My Life. Spoiler, I gave it a 7 out of 10 with room to grow because I just couldn't quite get behind it. And then someone in the comments said they've actually released an English version of the song. And the English version is live and actually might sound better than like the Japanese music video so I found the English video and so yes we are reacting to Fate Gear Scars in My Life live English version yeah before we begin if you'd like to support me and the channel in the future you can by clicking like to show me some love you can click subscribe and tap that bell to be notified of when I upload on this channel enough rambling let's just dive straight back into Fate Gear Press play. Okay. Quite a big crowd. Must be popular. It already sounds a lot better than the music video. I wasn't expecting such perfect English. Okay. I said when I first reacted to this song. so much fun.
Is that the end? Or am I just going to get an advertisement now? Yeah, that was the end. That was Scars in My Life, the English version by the band Fate Gear. Like I said during that, I take back everything I said first time around. I remember my exact pretty much critiques from when I reacted to the music video and I said that it was very overpowering and it felt like there was like a lot like assaulting the senses be it visually or like audio wise but it was kind of jarring in parts and it kind of took away from like the song and the vocals. I also said I think the best part were the instruments and like the vocals really weren't all that strong. So yeah, they were my main critiques, that the instruments were better, the vocals weren't as strong, and music video-wise, it kind of made no sense, like, lyric-wise. I managed to get a hand, my hands on, like, a couple of the lyrics, and I was like, how the hell that fits in? I get it, you're a steampunk band. I love the aesthetic, I love the steampunk, but it kind of had no meaning to the song. But the English version, because I was able to hear it in English, and able to, like, make sense and like interpret the lyrics more. In a live setting this song works a lot better than it did in the music video because oh my god those were powerful lyrics. Like it's the idea is that you know well you maybe you've like scars from your past like the scars are not meaningless as they heal they're always going to be there but you can either let your scars like continue to bring you down or you can be stronger and realize that you know life is worth living and I think that's like a really nice powerful message well done fate gear you won me over it just took a song in English like I said I also wasn't expecting such clear English because sometimes Japanese bands when they attempt to sing in English they kind of have that you know the cliche English which is like English but with like a Japanese flair where they kind of get some words wrong. This was kind of giving me like vocal wise like love bites because they do their songs in English and she's got like that bit of um accent to it when she sings. But like here, holy hell, these vocals live. Slap myself on the wrist. As I'm learning with most of these Japanese bands, they do make good music videos, but then you have to listen to the song live to like appreciate it. And now the the if anything, the vocals for me in this live version were above the instruments. Maybe it's because the stage was so big and there's not that many of them, there wasn't a lot going on, that they were all kind of spread out. But I did like the interactions that you got, you know, with like the guitars and like the vocalists and they were headbanging. And then you had like the solo, like guitar solo, the drummer was going for it, the keyboard player was having a great time. This was an all around better version than what I watched first time round. Like I already said, spoiler, I gave it a 7 to the music video and you guys told me you'll like the live version a lot better and well, you're right, I'm wrong. I like this a lot better. Let's just get into my rating. If I had to give scars in my life the English version live by Fate Gear, a rating out of 10. Guys, no, shock horror, it's not getting a 10. Like, I'm not that nice. It is getting a 9 out of 10, because 9 is fine here on the channel. It went, up whole t it went up two whole numbers. It went from a 7 to a 9. I gave the band room to grow, and they grew. And I really liked it and it kind of invigorates me to check out more Fate Gear because I was a little disappointed last time. But now I kind of want to check out this band a lot more and see what they have to offer. But yeah, in the comments below I'd love to hear you know, your guys' thoughts and opinions on the song, the video, the band. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Sound off. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion here on this channel. And trust me, most of you guys are opinionated when it comes to some of these bands. You've heard my thoughts and opinions, now make yours known. Let's just wrap up this video before I continue to ramble. If you'd like to support me and the channel in the future, you can by clicking like to show me some love. You can click subscribe and tap that bell to be notified of when I upload on this channel. At the end of this video, you can check out my last two videos or playlists, depending on what mood I'm in when I'm editing this. Until next time, I am Beth. Keep listening to good music. Goodbye.